everyone. So I'm going to show you how to get GIFs into your Schoology course. So it just creates a more of a um, engaging, a, a visual for students um, with creating of your buttons and all of your folder icons that you're creating and just messing around with um, during this time. So I'm going to show you how to get GIFs onto your buttons that you create. So the first thing you're going to do is go to canva.com. I love this program. This is a great program for pretty much anything and everything. So canva.com and it's free for educators. If you sign up for their education um, with their education program, it's free for educators. So you're going to go to create a design, custom dimensions, and you're going to be in inches and you're going to type in two by two. That's my favorite. I like two by two because they're small, compact and ready to go. Okay, so this will pop up. You can choose templates that are there already, or you can search a template. So I'm going to just search a fun template. Let's see what pops up. Okay, I like these little flower ones, so I'm just going to click that and it pops up there. Now you can change any of these colors on this, on this uh, flower. If you just click on the picture, all the colors that are on there pop up. So say I didn't like this green, I can just click on the green and I can change it to blue like that. Or I didn't like this black being on there. I can change it to orange, let's say. Okay, there we go. So now you can also delete all of these and just start from scratch like that, okay? You can also just start from scratch on the entire thing if you'd like. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is add in your words for your button. So you're gonna go over here to the text box. You're going to click on it. You can choose either a pre-created one that you want to use, or you can just hit, type in a heading, a subheading, or just a little bit more of a text. So I'm going to type in subheading or a heading. I'm going to go back to my practice course. The first one I want to do is for the parents. So I'm going to type in for the parents, and I want to change the font. So you're just going to double click on the font, make sure it's highlighted, go up to the top, and there's millions of fonts to choose from on Canva. So you're going to choose one that you like. I like that one. I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, you can change the color of the font. So if you don't like the color, you could just go up to the A at the top and change the color of the font. You can change it to be bolded. So if you double click on it, you can bold it. And you can change the size of the font as well. So I'm going to change it. Let's see what that looks like. 18. Very good. Okay, now comes the fun part of adding the GIF into there. So what you're going to do is you are going to scroll down on your left hand side and click more and you're going to scroll to where it says Giphys right here. Click it. You don't want these types of GIFs on your button because they could just be really, really distracting. So whenever you're looking for a GIF, you want to look for stickers. So I'm going to look for star sticker. Here pops up all of the star options you can choose from. Okay, I'm going to choose, let's see what this one looks like. Nah, that's too much. Maybe I'm going to do an arrow. I'm going to choose an arrow instead. Arrow sticker. There we go. So now let's choose one that I like. I like this little one right here. Okay, I'm going to scroll it down so that way it's not blocking any of my words. So there we go. I got my arrows moving up for the parents. There we go. Okay. Now you can add anything you want to this button, but for now, I'm just going to show you how to get this onto your Schoology. Okay. So now you're going to download it. So that way you can have it for your um, Schoology folders. So to download it, you're just going to hit download at the top. You want to make sure that it's downloading as a GIF right here, GIF. And you're just going to hit download. It's preparing. It's going to pop up at the bottom and you're just going to want to make sure you save it to the folder on your computer that you want to save your gift to. Okay. Once it's saved to your computer, then you can add it to your Schoology by going back to your Schoology course, going to the folder that, that you want and hitting the gear, hit edit. And then in this description, this is where you want to add your GIF folder description. So you want to go over here to insert content, image, attach a file. There's my file right there. Double click, 
There it's moving. It's ready to go. You can make it smaller or bigger, however you want, and hit Save Changes. And there it is popped up on my screen as a moving GIF on my Schoology. I hope this helps. It's going to be a lot of fun now. Bye.